Besides the search options included in the search panel, Xpeng has an advanced search feature that offers many more possibilities for finding the right translation in the right context. It is called Power Search and it allows you to carry out a conditional search. Conditional searches are built on top of the three logical operators, AND, NOT and OR, that allow us to refine the search results or add more complex criteria in our searches. This leads to a better terminology selection and a higher quality in our translations. The grammar for Power Search is the same that you can use in Google searches. No operator is a logical N, the word OR is a logical OR, and the minus sign is a logical NOT. So, if you are familiar with Google Advanced Searches, you already know Power Search. Let's see how it works. What you see on the screen is an Xbench project which contains some reference materials, a software glossary in TXT format, a Trados export and memory, and a Microsoft glossary in TBX format. If we search for a string that contains more than one word, such as contextual search, the instances returned by Xbench contain the exact same string that we have specified in the source field. This is a simple search. However, pressing Ctrl P, which is the key shortcut for Power Search, will let us find the instances where these two words appear in the same string, but not necessarily next to each other. This is the string where contextual and search do not appear next to each other. This is the AND operator and it is implicit. Nothing between search terms means that results need to include them both. We can also include groups of words as search strings. For instance, we can include Xbench application as one string between quotes and download as another string one single word. Here we get just one result, which shows the concatenated words we wanted, expand application, with the word download in that same string. Obviously, with Power Search, we can also use other usual search options, such as case sensitive or match whole word. Power Search also lets us perform negative searches. In other words, we want to find strings where a particular word or string does not appear. For example, for strings containing the word Xbench in the source text, we want to find those that do not contain the word version in that same string. To do that, in the source field we need to specify Xbench and version, which is the unwanted word, preceded by a minus sign, which is the negation. If we do not specify the minus sign and do a simple search, Xbench finds the string with Xbench and version. We include the minus sign and these are the results. There is no occurrence of version in the displayed results. Another negative search. We can search for the term application and we do not want to see the strings containing Xbench as target text. If we do a simple search with no minus sign, the results show Xbench as target. We include the minus sign and do power search and this is what we get. The word Xbench does not appear as target anywhere. This is the logical NOT operator and, remember, it is represented with a minus sign in front of the term. Last but not least, you can use the logical OR operator with Power Search. For instance, let's use the target field with the names Xbench and Microsoft surrounded by quotes. If we specify OR in between, Xbench will find the strings that contain one name or the other, or both of them. Don't forget to use quote in this case. Note the difference. If we do not use the quotes nor the OR operator, the results show the strings containing Microsoft and Xbench, both.
A situation where power search is very useful is when searching for strings in software glossaries. Let's assume this. You are translating a user guide of a particular product and you have a software glossary loaded on XPenge that helps you find the translations for the software strings appearing in that guide. Then you come across with this one. Select the Delete all instances of the name button. We search for the specific string, delete all instances of the name, using the Ctrl-Alt-Insert key combination from the translation file, but we get no results coming from the software glossary. If we press Ctrl-P, Xpenge will find a very close software string that is probably the right software string we have to use in that context. Sometimes the glossaries provided by clients are not very accurate or contain errors, Make the most of XBench with PowerSearch.